Under the Carpet is a talk show that explores topics that people find difficult to talk about. In this series, hashtag MeToo, my guests and I share our personal experiences and thoughts from the perspective of a corporate executive, a social worker, a parent and a survivor. My name is Deborah Ting and I'd like to invite you to join me on this journey. What does sexual harassment mean to you? There are two ways of looking at it. One is legally, what are the definitions of what constitutes sexual harassment so that one party can accuse another mm. of that. Uh, but the other way of looking at it is really, it, de it does depend on the individual. How much is too much? Mm. Where do you draw the line? Where does, it, where does a friendly banter spill into harassment um, in most countries, with the, especially with the Me Too movement, is with throwing that up for discussion. And we, not only throwing it up, it is being, in some places, I think people are forced to confront it and say, what is sexual harassment? What constitutes harassment? Um, there have been people, especially men, who've said, oh, now they've become paranoid. They, they've become so paranoid that they don't even want to approach um, women, uh, even for dates, because in case it constitutes that. And I think that's taking an extreme. The problem is that it's, the boundaries are not clear yet at this point. Since the 20th century, all the changes that have been happening, all the rights that women have been claiming, yeah. uh, such that the women have gone ahead, but the men are still lagging behind. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's come to a point where that tension between what men think mm -hmm. is friendly banter, not sexual harassment, and what women think is going, to, uh, is going into their space, in fact, going into their, their rights, right? Yeah. It's, it's no longer negotiation, it's just broken down. And I think people in every society, in every country, have mm -hmm. to negotiate what it means for them. Mm -hmm. So it's a difficult question to answer. What it, it is, is sexual difficult. harassment? It is really difficult. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and women have gone ahead, but the men are lagging behind. It's mm. almost like the men uh, have a certain set of uh, rules that they think are okay mm. to engage mm. by, mm. but the women feel that, no, it is not okay. And, mm. and that's that's where the, the tension lies mm. this this two different uh, yes ex of yeah um, most societies are patriarch were are patriarchal in nature yeah. and so what men what um, men consider right is what serves their purpose yeah. and literally serves them yeah. right that women serve men yes. so the men have called the shots literally yeah. and um, but Especially in Asian society uh, I think in Asian society, it's just that these things are not talked about as much. Mm. Discussions of, these na of this nature are, are almost taboo, right? Yeah, but like in India, mm. there's so much of that happened and like really like yeah. really and, extreme. And I think the Me Too movement, recently I had a former colleague, she's from Korea, mm. and she was saying how uh, at the moment yeah. in Korea with the Me Too movement, it's, uh, many discussions have come out and it's really become quite explosive. Obviously in Korean culture, that the patriarchy has been very strong. And now with the Me Too, Me Too movement, yeah. the women have just taken, uh, just taken it on because it's an international discussion. It's not yeah. just that the women in, in Korea mm -hmm. uh, want to talk about it. It's certainly from even from the, t from the time of, the, of Indian independence, mm -hmm. the, the role of women uh, have been up for uh, debate and discussion and, and a lot of, and even to the point of great tension within the society. Um, and, and India is more multicultural than, than what people assume it to be. These changes take time to permeate through all uh, areas and to all um, sections in society. But in Singapore, we don't talk about it. And I think though in Singapore is the assumption is because we have the women's charter very early in, in our nation building uh, that all's fine mm. because legally mm. women have recourse, mm. right? 
So I think in Singapore, yeah, legally, we, women have recourse. Women have equal rights. Women have the same, generally, I think I would say the same salary, certainly in the civil service. But we don't talk about it in Singapore, I think, because of that. Because legally, no, it is not a problem. But I think in our society, it still is. And because we are multicultural as well, you might say uh, that certain that ethnic groups have their own, like this is our culture, they, they fall back on that. And people, people become even more defensive about what constitutes culture and how gender relations is dictated by culture. We would really love to hear about your experiences and thoughts. Please leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel and also find us on Instagram and Facebook. And more importantly, please share this video with everybody you know. You might actually really help somebody just by doing that.